so now as you know that the police officer can damage us and also the police officer has all of the animations now in this video we will allow the player to damage the police officer so as you know that the player has different rifles so now to each rifle we will add a reference to the police officer and then the player will be able to damage the police officer or you can say kill the police officer so if we click on the player as you can see there is no such script as a rifle so we need to click on the scripts folder then inside the rifles let's open up the handgun script now if we scroll down right here as you know we can uh, damage the object which we have created in our previous videos okay now in the same way we will damage the police officer as well but for that first of all we need to create the damage function for the police officers for now as you can see the police officer doesn't have any function for taking the damage so as you know we added that code to our player in which the player take damage from the police officer so we can just simply copy both of these functions then get back to the police officer and right here we will paste it then let me move this backward a little bit and this as well to set the code then right here instead of the player we will say character hit damage and then let's change this function name to character die and as you can see it is changed right here as well so now when the present health of the police officer will be decreased by the take damage and if that present health becomes zero the character of the police officer will simply die so as you know we doesn't have the present health so let's create the health variable for the character so right here at the top we will say private float turning speed and the turning speed will be 300f then after this we will say public float Whoops, I typed the variable name as wrong. It is actually character health. It will be 100F. And then public float. This will be present health. The present health will be then equals to the character health. So right here, whenever the game start, we will say present health equals to character health that's it and now here it is the present health of the police officer so now the police officer has both of these function now whenever the police officer die we also want to play the animation so we will say animator dot set bool and we want to set the die parameter to true Then after this, we will destroy the police officer game object after every 4 second and we will remove this code. So now let's save this. Let's get back to the handgun script. And on the handgun script right here, let's create a reference to our police officer script. So we will say police officer and let's name this as police officer as well but the p will be small and then we will say hit info dot transform dot get component and we want to get the component which is the police officer script and once we have the script then after this if condition we will say else if now if there is something which we hit and if that object has the police officer script then what we will do we will say police officer dot character hit damage and we will pass the give damage let me check the variable name at the top it is by the name of give damage so we will say damage and that will be it 
and after this we will add the effect as well for example for this object we play the metal effect so now for the police officer we will play the blood effect so for that just go ahead and download this file and then click on extract here and it will give you this effect then in the gmo asset right here we will just drag and drop it so just drag it from there and drop it right here and if you now add it there as you can see this is the blood effect okay we will use this effect whenever we hit the police officer so we have the effect now at the top let's create a reference to the effect so right here we can just copy that paste it down below and now let's change this to blood effect then let's scroll down let me copy all of that code from here paste it down below now this name will be changed from blood effect go right here as well change it to blood effect go and then right here we will type blood effect and that will be it so now whenever we hit the police officer it will show this blood effect on the police officer and also we want that whenever the police officer hit the player we want to show the blood effect on the player body as well so that it showed that yes the police officer is also shooting the player so for that we will use the same code first of all we will be adding this reference so just copy this reference get back to police officer let's scroll up right here we will paste that reference then from the hand and script let's copy this get back right here and now whenever we give damage to the player we will play this effect as well so just paste it right here like this and as you know the names of the variables are same so it will not be an any problem with the names okay so now the police officer whenever the police officer hit us it will also play that blood effect as well so now after adding this code if we get back to unity as you know that it shows an error on these two line but it shows that this hit info does not exist so if you check the police officer right here as you know the raycast name is hit and not hit info so we will change this to hit only that is it now let's just save this and now if we click on this inventory canvas and then let's click on this weapon to use as you know that we have added only the giving damage thing to the handgun for now the handgun can only damage the police officer so if you click on this it will automatically open up this reference of the handgun and right here as you know it needs the blood effect so we will drag and drop the blood effect right there or you can say the gore effect okay we need the reference right there and after this if you click on the police officer it needs the blood effect as well so just add it right there as well that is it now let's play the game let's pick up the handgun let's take it out and now let's try to shoot now as you can see it shows the blood effect on the police officer and also as you know we have damaged the police officer as well for now as you know that we can't damage the AI characters but don't worry in the upcoming videos we will damage the AI characters as well so now as you know that it shows the blood effect on the police officer for now let me play the game again and click on the police officer let me increase his health to 400 now let's pick up the handgun now let's try to shoot him as you can see we can shoot the police officer now let's take some damage from the police officer as well now you will notice that whenever he shoot us as you can see it shows the blood effect on the player body as well and it looks really beautiful as you can see just like in GTA 5 it shows the effect like this 
okay so now the police officer can damage us as well and now if we try to kill the police officer let me try to kill him okay the police officer is not moving as well now for example if we kill the police officer for that we will have to restart the game again okay now let me just damage him again and you will notice that the police officer still move when he die and we actually don't want that so we want to fix these issues okay so whenever we kill the police officer we want the police officer to just stop right there and don't do anything okay so in the next video we will fix this issue and also that issue that the police officer was not moving to its waypoint when the stars were gone so we will fix these both issues in the next video